Welcome to the Driving the World podcast series. I'm your host, Cully Holland. Today we have Jason Hahn, a product engineer from our industrial gearing division. We'll be discussing our X series. Hey, Jason, thanks for coming on today. So we're just going to chat about our X series. Uh, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. You? Doing well. I'm glad you, glad you got to make it today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. So uh, our X-Series is one of our industrial gearing lines. Uh, could you tell us a little more about it as we jump into this? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the X-Series is our, our flagship uh, design for our industrial gearing product line. Um, a lot of people will be familiar with our MC-Series, which has been in the market for a while, and we have a pretty good install base in that in the U.S. Um, using the MC-Series. But the X-Series is really kind of an upgrade and the bigger, badder version of the MC-Series. Oh, well, awesome. So it sounds like a lot of our customers already have some experience with our industrial gearing, and you're saying this is bigger and badder. Uh, how How is the X-Series an improvement upon our previous MC-Series? It has a lot of the same capabilities as the MC-Series, but the MC-Series stopped at a size 9, so there's only eight sizes of MC-Series, and, and the X-Series start that that really covers just the small version of our X series. Um, we also have X medium and X large, which goes from the X medium goes up to a size 250, X large goes up to a size 320. So we've, we've really added quite a few sizes, um, which can cover a lot higher torque range, you know, where you're getting into three, four, five million inch pound type scenarios. Um, and then it also has a lot more ratio gradient. So we've added stages to the X series and instead of stopping at three stage units, we can also do we also do four stage units now, which give you a lot higher reduction ratios and a lot more flexibility in in what uh products and, and applications you can use it in. Well very cool. I mean in industrial gearing, I mean torque is pretty much king. So getting more torque can't be a bad thing. And having more options for speed, I mean that's just a plus. Are there any uh other cool upgrades, maybe with the housings or like some of the versatility of the X series that our MC didn't have. Well, we've kept a lot of the same things as far as versatility goes. Um, we have added a lot of uh, some accessorization that you can do with the X series that's not available with the MC. We still have uh, a very flexible um, orientations for the housing, for the shaft positions, right angle, helical bevel. Um, the one addition to the X series that we didn't have with the MCs is that the housings are flippable. Uh, we do have to make some modifications to them in order to do that, but um, because we have the ho housing uh, machined universally, it allows it to be mounted in, in basically upside down or in other orientations that allow you to use the same unit in, say, on one side of the conveyor, but then also on the other side of the conveyor as well. I mean, I'm sure that would make customers happy having uh, one unit as a spare for multiple because, as we know, these boxes do a great job, but they are a little higher in price point. So cutting down the number of spares would be much appreciated by a lot of our customers. And uh, talking about housings, are they all uh, monoblock housings or are there some options or differences there? Um, the, we do have monoblock and split housing. Uh, the monoblock starts at size 100 and go through, goes through size 210. So you're looking at 12, 13 you know, housing, uh, 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 monoblock housings there. And then after the size 210, you get, you go to the 220 and then all the way up to the 320. So another 11 sizes that are, um, that are split housing. And the main reason for having to switch from monoblock to split housing is once you get up to a certain size, that output gear on the, the output gear wheel is so large, you, you can't fit it into the housing without taking the cover off of it. And you got to be able to get in there somehow, right? Yeah. So uh, these X how, these X boxes sound uh, pretty universal and like a great box. Uh, what are some of the industries our customers could keep their eye out for to to use these puppies in? Really, anything that that rotates or or moves. Um, <laughs> I mean, really, we you, we can go into anything. But some, you know, more specifically, we we do a lot in mining, um, cement, pulp and paper, um, wastewater treatment, um, hoist and cranes uh really kind of everything across the board but those are those are some highlights there well very cool you said a uh, hoist and crane and i mean for me when i think applications within the industry i'm thinking a conveyor belt is there anything else that uh we could keep an eye out because i mean it sounds like it fits everywhere so there's got to be some applications that i that i missed yeah um application wise uh, um bucket elevators are a good one uh conveyors are a good one 
mills and kilns. Um, uh, I think you already mentioned, or we already mentioned conveyors, uh, mixers. Um, trying to see if I've repeated anything here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it sounds like a pretty exhaustive list and, uh, it sounds like that's great and there's opportunities across the country for it. So with that pretty general overview, is there anything else that we should know about the X series or does that sum up the 10,000 foot view? Yeah, I, I think that that pretty much sums most things up. We can, we can dive a lot deeper into the X series. There's really a lot of uh, um, special things that it can do, but you know, we could spend all day talking about that and really diving in deep. <laughs> well, that's what makes it a great product and uh, maybe we'll be lucky enough to have you on again soon, but I really appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me.